All right, we'll go ahead and open it up. Marcus, the Rutgers coach was talking about how he remembers you from your AAU days. And he talked about how much better conditioned you are now. But beyond your conditioning, what's the biggest development or improvement in your game since you've been at SMU working with Coach Brown and his staff? Um, my biggest improvement is just, uh, just all mental. Just, just getting myself just playing 100% on every possession. I mean, my, my game was always there. I mean, losing the all the weight and, and getting in better shape had a lot to do with it, but it was just all mental for me. What was the key to the defensive approach against uh, against Miles Mack? Really, we just wanted to pack the floor in. We knew he wanted to get to the paint a lot. Um, and coach always talks about elbows and boxes. Uh, if it's a guy top of the key, and that's what we try to do every game, basically. So our principles never change. It's still the same every game. Coach Brown was talking about how he had eight free throws in the first half and none in the second half. What did you all change in the second half defensively on him? I don't know if we changed the whistle just didn't blow. Um, I mean, that's how it goes. I mean, I think our intensity just picked up, but we just you know tried to get our hands off because that's the thing that's changed this year with the, with the calls. A lot of hand checks, and that's that's what he got. But you know, he touches the paint a lot, and we didn't allow him to touch the paint the second half. Nick Russell did a great job against him. I appreciate like he that. had been doing all year against everybody's best yeah. players. I mean, he's going to be modest, but I'm going to tell you, know, he's working like crazy to stop everybody that, that supposedly comes in here, wherever we go. Every player that's supposed to be the they top guy, their lead scorer, he takes it upon himself to, to lock them down. And he's Great job all year, and uh, I gotta take my hat off to him. Yep. Marcus, you're uh, you're the you're the leading scorer on the team in conference play, and also the leading rebounder. Um, since the Louisville game, it seems like you just turned up your game. What what has changed for you? Talk with Coach Brown. And, and, and how did that how did that change your game? Oh, no, I mean, we, we we sat down and we just he basically just told me that that um. I can be really good in this game if, if I just apply myself and um and just work and just just give effort 100% all the time whenever I'm on the floor. Um, and when I get tired, I'm just tell him to get me out. And then whenever I'm ready, I'll go back in. And uh, that's just what I've been working on doing. My teammates do a great job, you know, getting me the ball and, and coming off the screens tight. And that allows me to get a open. And then they do a great job of hitting shots when I pass off the double team. So, I, I owe it all to my teammates, so I'll get up and play now. And Nick, um, as running the point, more or less running the show on the floor, uh, how much easier does it ha is it having guys like Marcus, Cannon, Cunningham, Ben Moore, guys who have that type of post presence inside, how much easier does that make your job? A lot easier. Um, when Keith Frazier gets on the floor, you know what I mean, a lot of teams are on him tight. Uh, so, I mean, it's, the lane opens up, really, with all of our guards, really, I mean, because everybody can shoot. So, uh, I mean, you know, with a big president inside and having shooters outside, it makes the game a lot easier for our, for us guards up top. And, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's just a team game. It's five guys, one basketball. So, I mean, it's just every piece has its right spot. So, I mean, we just, if we play together continuously, uh, I mean, we, we have a long way to go. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> Keith, when you arrived, Everybody knew your reputation as a scorer, but after several games this year, Coach Brown has talked about your improvement on the defensive end. Where does your, the pride that you have in your defense rank compared to the satisfaction you get out of scoring on the offensive end? I mean, uh, well, first of all, defense is first, because I mean, he tells me all the time if I don't play defense. I, mean, I, I came in on floor. I, got to, I just got to earn my teammates' trust and my coaches' trust on defense, you know. Everything, everything else is just coming along. So I just try to, just try to play hard on defense and keep improving. You and Marcus were talking about Nick's defense. Do you all sort of look at each other and try to match each other on the defensive end as much as in, on the stat sheet? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Though. I mean, we just got all five, all five guys got doing the same things on defense. And, um, and then on offense, everybody works together. Everybody shows the ball. So, it, I mean, it, it'll all come together.
Anything else? Thank you. All right. Thanks Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Right. Yeah. All right. We got one more, and this will be the real. Sorry. No worries. We got one more right here. Yeah. One more.